Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and I wanted to talk a little bit about sleep. I get that question a lot. How much sleep am I supposed to get, and how much do you sleep? What about Brother Air, other people that practice mucus's diet? My recommendation for sleep is sleep as much as you need, but use your body as the vehicle for deciding what you need to do. Now me personally, I'm not really on any kind of hardcore schedule and I'm able to be like that right now because of uh, you know, my, my, my lifestyle situation and what I do in the world. I'm able to do my work and not have to get up at a certain time and I know a lot of people don't have it like that. I don't always have it like that but even before I've never really been able to adapt to a very kind of strict, stringent, daily, repetitious type of thing. And I've always sort of been a night person, and I never really slept a whole lot. Now when I got into the diet, I was prepared to sleep as much as I needed, because I was like, well, maybe I would be healthier if I slept more. But what happened was, the cleaner I got, the less I could sleep, the less I wouldn't, I would be, would sleep for four hours, wake up and feel totally rested and be ready all the way to the next day. Then sometimes I would get to the point where I could be, if I was fasting, I might be up for 24 hours and then sleep four hours. And so, just telling you my experience, if a routine works for you, if sleeping longer works for you, that's beautiful. That, that's where you, you, I suggest using your intuition. What feels good? Does it, if, it, if you're able to sleep longer and it feels good, then, that, that, then, then go for it if you're able to. But the, the thing to keep in mind is the less you eat or the wor or the, and the better you eat, the less you have to sleep. Now, Brother Air, when he's fasting, he only sleeps 15 minutes a day. He'll doze off for about 15, 20 minutes, and then he's back up. Now, he still rests. He's just not sleeping. He's not necessarily out 24 hours a day playing music or running around. He's, he rests, but he doesn't have to go into the unconscious sleep state. And I've experienced that myself when I'm fasting or when I'm at the higher levels. As soon as I eat something uh, that's heavy, it's, it puts, like, puts me out. You know, I have a big heavy vegetable meal or something and it's almost like sleeping medication or something. It'll, it usually just takes me out at this point. It wasn't like that when I got started. When I started the diet, it wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't as sensitive to eating heavy things, but now I eat some heavy stuff, something that used to get me stimulated. Now I eat it and it's like I'm done. I'm you know down for the count. So it's just a few things on sleep. As I said, I know there's a lot of people that say, okay, well make sure get to bed early and and, and get up early and in the the uh, kind of day cycle kind of kind of concept. And like I said, for me, I've always felt very comfortable at night, you know, being a night person. But I've also felt comfortable in the morning. So I'll, re I'll usually go to bed between 1 a.m. and 3 and get up between 6 and 8. Or, or, you know, usually up by 8.30. But I'll get up. Like today, I think I got up at 6.30. Just got about three hours of sleep. I've been fasting the past two weeks. I was fasting. But, so that's, that's my body. Now when I need, when I'm starting a fast, I usually will sleep much more. If I'm starting a fast and on the second night, the first or second night of starting a fast, I might sleep for six to eight hours. It's just like I'm passed out. Because my body is actually turning over its gear it's like getting into fasting mode once i'm in fasting mode then it's on you know it's it's, it's totally feels different i'm in a different place
So, so again, you can, and if you're and if you're going through an elimination and you're you know feeling sick or you're, that kind of stuff, you can sleep away a lot of the ailment because sleeping is really a forced uh, is forced fast. Uh, you're fasting when you sleep. That's why we call it breakfast. You break your fast whenever you eat something after you've been sleeping. So the sleeping process is really a forced fast. And the question is, you know, how normal is sleeping really? Uh, I won't get too much into that. I'll just ask the question. You can answer it. But it's interesting to know that as people are able to get further and further in uh, these higher levels of diet that they they need the need to sleep as much less and so to me that totally makes sense so thank you for listening talk to you later peace love and breath